hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make this very cute cocktail dress that i made so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need two kinds of yarn the main color yarn and the any other color for the bow here uh, at the center and also i use this kind of yarn it's a little bit tighter but uh it's a little bit lighter but uh, the company is the same it's the same kind of yarn that i used it's uh as you can see it requires for you to use three to four millimeters crochet hook it's 75 percent acrylic and 10 percent baby wire hair and uh 15 percent cotton so this is how it looked like and then i used a crochet hook which is 2.0 millimeters because i wanted my stitches to be a little bit smaller okay so let's get started Okay, so we're going to start with a chain 40 so as you can see I already did that so this is a total of 40 chains okay as you can see so uh, we're going to start from the bottom of the dress and after we do a chain 40 we are going to go into the first stitch over here and then we're going to slip stitch to form to form a ring Okay, so I'm just going to do a slip stitch like that okay and then after that I'm going to do a chain one so first I'm going to put my marker and then I'm going to do a chain one and do single crochet all the way around so we have a total of 40 stitches so I start from where I slip stitch and do a single crochet and then I'm going to continue doing single crochet in all the chains so you continue doing single crochet all the way around single crochet okay so continue doing single crochet all the way around until you get here where the marker is okay so after you're done with doing all the single crochets in the first round so now we're going to start our second round I'm going to place my marker right over here before I start the second round okay so in our second round we're going to start with a chain two so I'm going to do chain one and two so this does not count as a stitch it doesn't count okay so now we are going to do double crochet all the way across until the end okay so I'm going to do double crochet in the next stitch okay and then I'm going to continue doing double crochet in all the stitches so when you're done you have a total of 40 double crochets okay so you're going to keep repeating that all the way around until you get to the end okay so you're going to continue doing double crochet all the way across until the end okay so after we're done with the second round at the end uh, we're going to do a slip stitch at the very first uh, double crochet that we did or the chain two that we did so we're going to go here at the top and slip stitch okay so now I'm going to place my marker over here okay so after that uh, from then in our next row we're going to do a chain one and then we are going to do single crochet in all the double crochets around okay so I'm going to go into the first double crochets and then I'm going to do a single crochet and then I'm going to continue doing single crochet in all the double crochets around okay Okay, 
So you're going to continue doing single crochet all the way round. Okay, so after you get to the end, uh, in our fourth row, we're going to repeat what we did on the second row. Okay, so we're going to start with a chain two first. So we're going to do chain one and two. And then you're going to do double crochet all the way across. So from here, which is row four until row 11, you're going to keep alternating row two and row three. Okay, so in this round, we're going to do double crochet all the way around. In the next round, we're going to start with a chain one and do single crochet all the way across. So you're going to keep repeating row two and row three until you get to row 11. Okay, so I'll see when you're done with the 11th row so that we start the 12th row together, which will be the top part. Okay, so after you're done with the 11th row, this is how it should look like. Okay, so we're done now with the bottom part. So now we're going to start with the top part. Okay, so in our row 12, we're going to start first with a chain one. And then after that, we're going to do single crochet in the next 10 stitches. Okay, so I'm going to go into the next stitch and do single crochet one. And then continue for the next stitches so two three four five six seven eight nine and 10 okay and then after that uh, we're going to decrease one time so I'm going to go in the front loop of the next stitch pull through and the back loop of the next stitch pull through so I have three loops on my hook then I'm going to pull through all the three together okay and then after that we're going to do single crochet in the next 16 stitches so I'm going to do single crochet one two three four okay so continue until you have 16 single crochets okay so after the 16 single crochets we're going to decrease again one more time so in the next so decrease Okay, and then after that, for the remaining 10 stitches, we're going to do single crochet all the way. Okay, so we're going to do single crochet. Okay, so continue all the way to the end. Okay, so after you get here at the end, you're going to go into the first stitch and then slip stitch. Okay, and then after that, we are going to turn the other way. So before we start, I'm going to do first a chain one. So now in our 13th row, we are going to do single crochet in the first 10 stitches. So I'm going to do single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to decrease one time. Okay, so I'm going to do a decrease. Okay, and then after that, we are going to do single crochet in the next fourteen stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three so continue until you have 14 single crochets okay so after the 14 stitches we're going to decrease again one time okay and then after that we're going to do single crochet in the last 10 stitches 
okay so we're going to continue doing single crochet okay so single crochet single crochet okay and continue until the end okay so now we have a total of 36 stitches okay so now we're going to turn on the other side and then I'm going to do a chain one okay after I do a chain one I'm going to do single crochet in the next 10 stitches okay so when you do a when you turn on the other side don't forget to do a chain one so we're going to start by doing 10 single crochets so one two three four okay so continue until you have 10 stitches okay so after the 10 stitches we are going to decrease one time okay and then we're going to do a uh, single crochet in the next 12 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four okay so continue until we have 12 single crochets okay after the 12 single crochets we are going to decrease again one time so we're going to do a decrease okay and then after that we're going to do single crochet in the remaining 10 stitches so we have a total of 34 stitches so we're going to continue doing single crochet single crochet Okay, so continue all the way to the end okay so after you're done with that uh we are going to turn to the other side and then we're going to start by doing a chain one okay so after the chain one we're going to increase in the first stitch so we're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch Okay, and then after that we're going to do single crochet in the next nine stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four okay so continue until you have nine single crochets okay so after the nine single crochets we are going to decrease one time so we're going to do a decrease Okay, and then after that we're going to do single crochet in the next 10 stitches okay so I'm going to do single crochet one two three four okay so continue until you have 10 single crochets okay after that we are going to decrease again one time so I'm going to do a decrease Okay, and then after that we're going to do single crochet in the next nine stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three okay so continue until you have nine single crochets okay so after you're done with the nine single crochets in our last chain uh, we're going to increase Okay, so we're going to do an increase. Okay, and then after that, we're going to turn. Okay, so after turning, we're going to start by doing a chain two. So we're going to do chain one and two. Okay, so this is our 16th row. So in our previous row, we have 34 stitches. So now in our next row we're going to start by doing a chain two and then we're going to do double crochet all the way across in each stitch okay so we're going to do a double crochet okay so double crochet so you're going to continue doing double crochet all the way across
okay so do double crochet all the way around until the the end so we have a total of 34 double crochets okay so after you get to the end of row 16 we are going to turn and then after we turn in our 17th row we're going to start with a chain one and then after the chain one we're going to do single crochet all the way across for a total of 34 stitches okay so we're going to start by doing single crochet and then we're going to continue doing single crochet all the way across okay so you're going to continue with single crochet all the way round okay so after you get to the end of uh, row 17 you're going to turn again and then we're going to repeat row 16 so we're going to start by doing a chain two again and then we're going to do double crochet all the way across so i'm going to do double crochet and then i'm going to repeat doing double crochet all the way across until the end okay so continue doing double crochet all the way round Okay, so after you're done with that uh, we're going to turn to the other side and then we're going to start by doing a chain one okay so i'm going to do chain one okay okay so from here from row 19 which is the next row until row 22 we are going to keep repeating row 17 and 18 so now in the next row we're going to do single crochet all the way across and then after that in the next row we're going to start with a chain two and do double crochet all the way across so from the next row which is row 19 until row 22 which is the next four rows you're going to keep alternating uh, row 17 and 18 so I'll see you when you're done with the 22nd row so that we start the 23rd row together okay so after the 22nd row this is how our dress looks like okay so now we're going to continue to the 23rd row and in our 23rd row we're going to turn and then we're going to start with a chain one okay so after doing the chain one we are going to decrease one time okay so I'm going to decrease okay and then after decreasing I'm going to do um, single crochet in the next nine stitches so I'll do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight and nine okay and then after the ninth single crochet we are going to increase in the next stitch okay so i'm going to do an increase okay and then after that i'll do single crochet in the next 10 stitches okay so i'll do single crochet one two three four okay so continue until you have ten single crochets okay and then after that I'm going to increase in the next stitch so I'm going to do an increase okay and then after that I'm going to do single crochet in the next nine stitches so I'll do single crochet one two three three so continue until you have nine single crochets okay so after the nine single crochets we have two single we have two stitches left here at the end so we're going to decrease at the end
okay and then after that we are going to turn okay so now we have a total of 34 stitches so after we turn we're going to start by doing a chain one okay so after the chain one we are going to do single crochet all the way across for a total of 34 stitches so I'm going to do single crochet single crochet okay so continue doing single crochet all the way across okay so after you're done with the single crochets uh, in our next row we're going to turn and then we're going to start by doing a chain one Okay, and then after the chain one we are going to do single crochet in the next nine stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight and nine Okay, and then after the nine stitches we are going to increase in the next stitch so we're going to increase one time okay and then we're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two and three Okay, and then after that we are going to increase again one time so I'm going to increase okay and then after that after increasing we're going to do single crochet so I'm going to do again one single crochet and then I'm going to increase in the next stitch so I'm going to do one increase okay and then I'm going to do single crochet in the next two stitches so I'm going to do single crochet one and single crochet two okay and then after that I'm going to increase again one time so I'm going to do an increase And then I'll do another single crochet so one single crochet and then I'm going to increase in the next stitch I'm going to do one increase okay and then after that I'm going to do single crochet in the next three stitches so I'm going to do single crochet one two and three okay and then I'm going to do another increase so I'm going to increase again one time okay and then after that I'm going to do single crochet in the remaining nine stitches so you're going to continue doing single crochet single crochet okay so continue all the way to the end okay so after that uh, in our 26th row we are going to turn and then we're going to start by doing our chain two and then after that we're going to do double crochet all the way across so in the previous row we have a total of 40 stitches so in this row also we're going to have a total of 40 double crochets so I'm going to do double crochet all the way to the end Okay, so double crochet okay so continue doing double crochet all the way across okay so after you're done with the 26th row we are going to turn now in our 27th row we're going to start by doing a chain one and then we're going to do single crochet all the way across for a total of 40 stitches so we're going to do single crochet 
and then we're going to continue doing single crochet all the way across Okay, so continue doing single crochet all the way around until the end okay so after our 27th row we're going to start with our 28th row so you're going to turn and do a chain one okay and then after the chain one we're going to start by doing single crochet in the first 14 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three Four. okay so continue until you have 14 single crochets okay so after you're done with the 14 single crochet we are going to skip the next stitch okay and then you're going to do three double crochet in each of the next three stitches so skip and then do three double crochet in the next stitch okay so in the same stitch do another double crochet two and another double crochet in the same stitch so we have three double crochet in the same stitch okay and then also in the next stitch do three double crochets so one then again in the same stitch two and another one in the same stitch through Three double crochets okay also in the next stitch do three double crochets so one and then in the same stitch two and three Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, we're going to skip again the next stitch and then we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches. So skip and then do single crochet one and single crochet two. Okay, and then again we're going to skip and then we're going to repeat again. So three double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Okay, so skip and then do double crochet one in the next stitch and then do another double crochet two and another double crochet three okay so next stitch two do three double crochet And in the next stitch two, do three double crochets. Okay, so as you can see, this is how it's turning out. Okay, okay, so after you're done with that, we're going to skip the next stitch and then we're going to do single crochet in the remaining 14 stitches. So skip and then start doing single crochet one two three okay so continue doing single crochet until the end okay so after you get to the end you're going to turn and then you're going to start by doing a chain one okay so after that we're going to do single crochet in the next 13 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five okay so continue until you have 13 single crochets okay so after you're done with that you're going to skip the next stitch and then we're going to do eight double crochets so skip and do double crochet one two three four 
three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Okay, so and then after the eight double crochets, we are going to skip the next stitch. And then after we skip, we are going to uh, do a decrease. Okay, so skip and decrease. So we're going to decrease one time. Okay, and then we're going to skip again. And then we're going to do eight double crochets. So we're going to skip and do double crochet. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Okay, and then after that we are going to skip the next stitch and then you're going to do single crochet in the last 13 stitches so skip and then start doing single crochet one two three four okay so continue doing single crochet until the end okay so after you get to the end you're going to turn and then in our 30th row which is our last row we're going to start by doing a chain one and then we're going to do single crochet all the way across so we're going to do single crochet single crochet and then you're going to continue doing single crochet okay so continue doing single crochet all the way across okay so after you're done here at the end we're going to do a chain one and then I'm going to cut my yarn long enough okay so this is how it looks like until now so now we're going to start doing the bottom part okay so now for the ruffles uh, we're going to go to the bottom part of the skirt where we started and you're going to attach your yarn over there then I'm going to put my crochet hook and pull my yarn through okay so we're going to start with the uh, here in the next stitch and then we're going to start by doing a chain three so chain one two and chain three and then we're going to do five double crochets in the first stitch so I'm going to do a double crochet so remember we're going to do all of them in the same stitch so double crochet one two three four and five okay so the chain three that we did it counts as a double crochet too so now we have six double crochets so we're going to continue doing six double crochets in each stitch around until the end so I'm going to go into the next stitch and do six double crochets. So one, two, three, four. Five and six. 
okay so and then after that i'm going to skip the next stitch and do six double crochet in the next stitch so i'm going to do double crochet one two three four five and six okay so i want my ruffles to be really close or to form a really a uh, close pattern that's why i'm doing six uh double crochets in the same stitch but you can do less uh stitches if you want so now you're going to skip again the next stitch and do six double crochets and then you're going to continue like that all the way round until the end okay guys so after you're done making the ruffles this is how it looks like as you can see so it looks so cute so now we're going to make the little bow here for the front part and for that we're going to use the white yarn okay so to make the bow you're going to start with a chain 15 so I already did that so after you do the chain 15 we are going to start with the second uh, chain from the hook and we're going to do single crochet all the way across so you can uh, we're going to have a total of 14 stitches in the first row okay so you're going to do single crochet in each chain across so single crochet okay so continue doing single crochet until the last chain okay so after you're done with the single crochets so we're going to turn and then we're going to do a chain one and then after that we're going to do single crochet again in the second row all the way across so single crochet single crochet okay so you're going to continue doing single crochet all the way until the end okay so after you get to the end you're going to turn and again you're going to do a chain one and then continue again single crochet all the way around and then when you get to the end do again chain one and do single crochet so you're going to keep repeating that all the way until you have a total of 12 rows okay so after you finish with the 12 rows i'll show you how to do the edging okay so now after you're done with the 12 rows this is how it looks like so now for the edging we're going to turn to the other side and then we're going to do a chain one we're going to do chain one and then we're going to do uh in the base of the first stitch or the first stitch over here at the corner we're going to do two single crochet so they are all in one stitch so we're going to do single crochet one and then single crochet two okay and then after that we're going to do a chain two and then in the same stitch we're going to do another two single crochet so we're going to do single crochet one and single crochet two in the same stitch okay and then after that we're going to skip two stitches and then you're going to repeat again so you're going to skip one two and then in the third stitch you're going to do two single crochets so single crochet one and two single crochet in the same stitch and then you're going to do a chain two and two single crochet again so one and two okay and then after that you're going to keep repeating that so skip two stitches then in the next stitch you do two single crochet one two and then chain two and in the same stitch two single crochet so one two 
okay so you're going to keep repeating that so skip to single crochet then repeat all the way around until you come here until you uh, reach where we started before okay so do that all the way across okay guys so after you're done making the ruffles on the bow or the ending so the edges I mean you're going to tie uh, it at the center so just use the pink yarn on or any other color that you want so I just tied it here at the middle and then I attached it to the needle at the very center of the dress as you can see this is how it looks so cute so and then after that uh, for my back I did a chain long enough or a really long chain I didn't really count the number of chains that I did and then I put it through the holes all the way through and then when you're done with that you just pull it at the top and tie it or you can do any other kind of ending that you want okay so this is how we turned out the dress so it's very cute and I hope you enjoyed this pattern if you have any questions you, you can comment below and also please check out my other videos i upload one video every week until next time bye